Welcome to Agri Silvi. Today's topic is land capability classification. This topic is important for those people who is keeping soil science on specialization in ICR, JRF, SRF, and it is also helpful in IBPS, AFO, and other agricultural competitive examination. We already started DDA SO special class. I will provide you link in the description box. You can go and uh, watch this. Land capability classes is not a new thing. It is devised by USDA since 1950. USDA means United State Department of Agriculture. So, what is the necessity of land capability classes? Land capability classes will help you to choose which land is appropriate for what. Where we should grow agricultural crop, where we should grow forest trees, where we should go for pasture land. This decision you decided by land capability classes. Then comes to land management practices. There are different land management practices like tillage operation, like watershed management. So you can decide by land capability classes. So there are total 8 land capability classes uh, symbolized in Roman letter like class 1 to class 8. Class 1 is the land capability classes having very less limitation and class 8 refers to the maximum limitation of land. This is a very good picture in front of you. Here it is shows all total 8 lands distributed in different levels. You can see that class 1 land is in lower level whereas class 8 land is in higher level. And uh, other class uh, classes are in, uh, in between them. We will go for further slides and we will study each class completely. Before going to each land class, we should know about subclass. Here, uh, a, each land class has four subclass. You just remember that subclass means limitation. The limitation is referred as subclass. So, there are four subclass. First one is risk of erosion. Erosion, here erosion may be done through wind, water, or um, by any method. Erosion, risk of erosion. And second one is wetness or drainage or flooding. It is symbolized in W. So uh, every limitation or in every subclass have some symbol like E, W, S, C. You should remember this. Erosion E, wetness means W, and root zone limitation like acidity, density, shallowness of soil. It is symbolized in S and the climatic limitation like short growing period. Short growing period means the uh, crops need uh, a climate for, for its growing, for its flowering, for its fruiting. These are referred to as growing period. Those uh, growing period limitation is referred as C. Let's go one by one. So first uh, land capability classes is class 1. Class 1 having deep and well drained soil and level topography so that row crop can easily grow. Then what is row crop? Row crop is a crop that can be planted in row and many agriculture machinery like drilling machine, like driller come fertilizer, we can easily use in such lands. And uh, uh, so there is no need of uh, broadcasting. We can go for dibbling, we can go for line sowing. And the nursery, we can grow agriculture nursery, forest nursery, or any nursery you want to grow, you can go for class 1 land. And most important feature is that more productivity with least cost. Then go for class 2. In class 2, we can go for row crop, but we need conservative practices. Like uh, many conservative practices, we should manage land resources like soil, uh, like water, like nutrient. Uh, let's go for a situation if there is more precipitation. So what should we do? We should go for such uh, practices that uh, increase infiltration rate. 
and proper drainage should there. So, uh, some conservative practices like conservation tillage, okay, grassed waterways, contour strip, we, uh, we should do in class 2 land and we can grow row crop. In case of class 3, land capability class land, so what should you do if you want to grow agriculture crop, you need special conservation practices such as soil cover and rotational crop. Soil cover maybe you can do by grasses, uh, many grasses like cyanodon, dactylion, um, congress grass, any grass you can use. And uh, uh, the most important feature is you can use rotational crop. Rotational crop means it is a practice of growing a series of different type of crops in the same area. Okay, means uh, let's go for an example. Uh, first, you will plant a heavy nitrogen using plant, for example, corn. And uh, after harvesting of corn, you can go for a nitrogen depositing plant like soyamine so that it will help to maintain your uh, nutrient balance in the soil and here row crop is restricted means you can't grow row crop here rotational crop you can use I already told about row crop and for W subclass W subclass means there is a flooding area there is a drainage area maybe so for W subclass drainage system required so, if there is uh, W subclass limitation is there, so you should go for drainage system. Then, if class 3 land is in a forest land, so you should go for scheduled timber harvest operation. Then go for class 4 land. In class 4, cultivation with severe limitation means you can do cultivation, but there are many restrictions are there. Like uh, choice of crop restricted, you can't go for any crop, any row crop, any crop. Use no row crop, only only hay crop, sword crop, and a close growing type of crop you can grow there in class four land, like wheat, barley. Such crops you can grow, and here also, if class four land is in any forest land. You should go for scheduled timber harvest operation. In class 5 land, the, it is not suited for any crop production. Here only uh, pasture you can use for land improvement. First you will grow pasture, then improvement of land occurs, then you can go for some selective agriculture crop. Otherwise, in class 5 land, there is uh, not possible of growing say agriculture crop. There are many limitations like stream overflow, like uh, there is less number of growing season, the soil is very stone, rocky and here also if class 5 land is in any forest land, here scheduled timber harvest operation required. Then go for class 6 land. In class 6 land, there is only pasture and wood you can grow means forest trees and only fodder trees you can grow here uh, this land is dedicated to wildlife range land forest land uh, why we uh, dedicate this land for wildlife not agriculture because there are extreme limitation like steep slope high erosion and entry is somehow limited and special timber harvest operation is required uh, before class 6, we go for scheduled timber harvest operation. But here you should remember that special timber harvest operation. And in class 6 land, uh, public is not allowed. In class 7 land, pasture improvement is just impractical. So, there is a, you can't grow pasture for improvement of soil. You only go for woodland, rangeland and wildlife only. And here entry is totally restricted. No public, only some uh, specially permitted persons will be allowed in class 7 land. And uh, here no special timber harvest method. Here only cable or balloon timber harvest method. 
and then go for class 8 land class 8 land is a very difficult and remote area so it is only for recreation wildlife water supply and aesthetic purposes so class 8 land is the starting point of ecological development uh, here we complete all eight classes so we should go for a gist this is a very good picture of uh, total eight land classes you can see uh, in left side it is written as uh, land capability classes and in uh, upper side it is written as increase in intensity of land use there are two type of uh, land use one is grazing and one is cultivation you can see in land capability classes one there are uh, grazing also cultivation if we can read i will uh, read for you first one is written as wildlife second one is forestry third one is limited four one is moderate fifth one is intense six one is limited seven one is moderate then intense then very intense it is shows that when you go for class 8 land only wildlife is possible if we go for class 7 land only wildlife forestry and limited some limited grazing if we go for class 1 land then also wildlife possible forestry possible limited grazing possible moderate grazing intense grazing it means it is so that all grazing can be done in land capability class 1 and all type of cultivation can be done in land capability classes 1 but in land capability classes 8 no grazing no cultivation only wildlife here also you can see what is the purpose of land use classification you can see land capability classes 8 and the land capability classes 1 you can see for wildlife purposes land capability classes 1 is there also land capability classes 8 is there means for wildlife purpose we can go for 1 to 8 but for uh, let's see for uh, uh, cultivation very intense cultivation last one for very intense cultivation we can go for only land capability classes 1 okay in this way you can remember all land capability classes easily so finally M mcq section first one uh, you should match uh, both the things if you understand completely my whole lecture then you can solve this by using your minds because this is some standard questions this is already came in icr jrf so try to solve this uh, there are the three condition i will give you very deep soil very shallow soil no soil cover rock only and in column B, uh, there are three options. You should match them. And uh, second one is also loam, sand loam, slate loam. Uh, in second one also three statement. And uh, here in column B, three class. You should match this. And uh, yes, try to solve. I know you can do it. These are the answers. Uh, you match your answers with this and uh, here this is the end of this lecture and the next lecture uh, will be based on soil order in this way we will complete whole soil science syllabus for ICR JRA for IBPS for any agriculture competitive exam if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel so that I will make more videos for you and uh, all the best for exam. Thank you.